I had uh, uh, mentioned at the beginning of the meeting that we would uh, allow for uh, public input and uh, we're moving toward um, I think I'm probably going to be providing this opportunity at the end of uh, each month, uh, at least for the next couple of months and see how things go. Uh, so with that, if there are, and I have four people's names on a, on a list uh, who would like to uh, comment, uh, this is, uh, will allow you the flexibility to talk on any item related to King County government that you desire, but as usual, we have a time limit of two minutes, and all we ask is that uh, presenters uh, mention their name, and we'll start with Mia Jacobson. Mr. Chair? Yes. Mr. Chair, can I ask for a clarification, please, sir? Yes. Um, I know in the legislature we had um, some rules about not impugning the motives, um, about decorum, about um, proper language. Do we have any rules similar to that um, here? Yes. You're talking about Constitution? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I called on Council Member... No, no. I called on Council Member... Uh, Lambert, you can't just interrupt when a uh, council member is asked a question because you will have an opportunity to speak. Uh, council member Lambert, uh, we have uh, rules uh, related to what is germane and appropriate and relevant for members of the public to talk about in front of the King County uh, Council. Uh, other than those general guidelines, uh, if people follow the protocols of relating to things that, if, for example, if it's on one uh, issue that we're dealing with and they speak to that issue, uh, we will uh, uh, allow it. So what my concern is, um, do we allow swearing? We don't allow swearing? We cut you off if there's swearing language? Is there any rules about that? Um, generally, there are rules of protocol that are generally accepted. Um, so we'll we'll let those guide us and let's see how it goes. Excellent, thank you. Sir. Uh, but uh, uh, Mia, you will have uh, two minutes, and you just need to uh, state your name for the record, and then tell us what you'd like to share with us. Okay, my name is Mia Jacobson, and I would like to share my concerns about our government to according to my agenda. Mm -hmm. So today the theme is context. I'm beginning to wonder if you really understand what we are asking for and what it means if this request is denied. The last time I was here, Mr. Gossett, you told my friend Alex that he had no respect. From my understanding, you were referring to the kind of respect which prevents one from speaking out of turn, and the sort of inherent respect a position of authority or an established social structure demands. I understand where you are coming from, sir. But frankly, we can no longer afford any kind of respect which requires silence. Our way of life for the past 30 years has driven us to the brink of destruction. Income inequality has never been so great. Agricultural practices has ne have never been so irresponsible. Individual benefits has taken priority over social service. Politics have been completely corrupted by greed. And the list goes on. My generation has been completely betrayed by the powers that be. Whenever I attend these meetings and hear nothing of this reality, only to watch another picture being taken or another award being given, I am outraged. This is a crime. I cannot afford to ignore the fact that every time I come here, this room is nearly empty. Do you realize that the people are having their own public meetings in the streets? Do you realize that we pay you over $135,000 a year to listen to us? Our government has lost the trust of the people. We are asking you to step up to the plate. We are asking you to change the way things have been. A meeting every month with an open agenda is the first step. King County has the opportunity to show the rest of the nation how to appropriately respond to the concerns of its people. While other counties push us out of public arenas and silence us with subtle acts of violence, you can invite us to have a conversation. I have two more sentences. 
This is our county council members, the People's County. We must come together if we are going to weather the hurricane that is waiting for us. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mia. Um, Councilmember Patterson. Thank you, Mia. I want to tell you the way you delivered your message made me want to listen very carefully to you. And I think you did an excellent job. I don't know that I agree with you, but I definitely was listening to you. And um, it was the beginning of the establishment of a relationship because of the way uh, you spoke. So I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, Douglas Johnson, followed by Sam Bellamio and Alex Zimmerman. I'd first like to thank Joe and Larry for voting against that silly racetrack that the rest of you guys voted for. Um, and uh, yeah. I'm going to talk about public access versus insula insulation strength. We're asking for the, these meetings to be held at 7 p.m. for more public access. We're asking to allow five minutes per person to speak at the beginning of these meetings. And we're asking that, that you will allow one hour for this, for these people to speak. It will actually be 35 minutes because you guys are inherently 20 minutes late to start these meetings anyways. Yeah. <clears throat> also, we would, like to allow, we would like you to allow one open forum each month. This would be a public meeting and it would be held on a weekend or in the evenings to make it more publicly accessible. Okay, this would be rotating from town to town, making it more publicly accessible. Now, these meetings would uh, would have a full council attending, along with the executive, and it would allow the peasants, as I would like to call us right now, to redress our grievances for five minutes each. This would make you more accessible. Okay. Your insulation strength right now is very strong. You have a very, very good insulation strength on your, your, your little group. So you're not very publicly accessible as a group with open forums for people to redress their grievances. In 1989, the county population um, was 40% of the overall county population. Um, now we have a 15% population in the county because of the annexations and so forth that have been going on in the county. So you guys basically, you don't control 40% of the citizens in this county now, you only control 15% of the citizens in this county. Fact. Also, your salaries rose over 50% and you added two new council members. When the population who you represent has decreased. My friend, I have, a, I have an old friend, he passed away a few years ago, his name's Tyree Scott. He would be rolling over in his grave right now if he knew this was going on. And Teddy Roosevelt said common sense. That's what we're asking for is common sense. Thank you. Uh, Sam Bellamio, followed by Alex Zimmerman. Yes, my name is Sam Bellamio. I'm with Stand Up America. I'd like to be on the record that uh, we've lost Councilmember uh, Dunn in Ferguson uh, when it came time for the public to speak. So I'd like to talk about that disrespect right there when you allowed us the time to speak and council members willingly left. The disrespect of you starting 15 to 20 minutes late every single meeting. The disrespect for you telling me that I'm being disrespectful and that Mia the way she presents things is her own particular way, and you start a relationship with her, but we've been here coming every day. And just because I say something in a particular way, there's no relationship there. Excuse me, but we have a constitution in the United States. You're not allowed to abridge my freedom of speech, you're, and, and you're not, so that means abridge. You're not allowed to shorten and take away the meaning of my speech. So if I'm up here speaking, and you give me only two minutes to speak, cut me off in the middle of a sentence, you just abridged my freedom of speech. Uh, Article 1, Section 5 of the Watch State Constitution, the public may speak freely. If I have to speak to you a certain way, that's not freedom of speech. Uh, you, this is ridiculous. You don't, you're underestimating what we're asking for. You're blind to it, actually. You've operated in such a way for the past 30 years that you don't even have to even worry about what the public has to say. You don't have, you start 15 minutes late. Let's just, 20 minutes. Let me round up, make math a little easier. Four, four weeks in a month. You just wasted 80 minutes. You can't give 120 minutes, or 80 minutes to people to speak once a month. That's an hour and 20 minutes. You could just take the time that you're wasting by coming in late and give it back to us. You're disrespectful to the people that come for these meetings. 
that want to speak, that can't stay because parking in Seattle, the meter runs out, but yet you start late. Why don't you start acting like a representative of the people instead of, <laughs> instead of acting like aristocrats and as our masters? Be respectful of us. Give us time to speak. Don't cut us off. And don't tell us we have to speak to you a certain way. Because Kathy Lambert was worried about words being spoken. And she's right. Mia shouldn't have used the word bullshit. She should have said, you guys are criminals. You're con it's a crime what you are doing, breaking the Constitution. Now, I deserve your respect to give us time to speak once a month for five minutes, each citizen present, to openly address you about any issue they see fit. Thank you. Uh, the last person signed up is Alex Zimmerman. No, I'm not last. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, my name is Alex Zimmerman, and I represent Stand Up America. Guys, you know, I come from a different system. You know what this means? Soviet Union communist. And I mentioned this before. In German, Nazi, you know what this means? It's very short organization. One exists for 12 years, and another exists only for seven years. We have a constitution who exists for 200 years. Freedom of speech, who exists for 200 years. United States of America, first country who stand up for human rights. Is this a nightmare, what is you did with people for the last 30 years? We cannot speak about problem that is very important to us, to everybody right now in the United States of America. You not only cut every constitution basic foundation, you cut Constitution, Washington Constitution, you cut U.S. Constitution, your original ar ar ordinance. You cut everything that is possible for keep your status quo. My master, my aristocrat is exactly who you come right now. We pay you ton of money about this, nothing happened. You only one place in King Country who don't give people time for speech. One from two, two half million people, and you control only 15 percentage from this. It's by definition absurd. And you don't shame doing this is a problem. So you corrupt to the bonds from people who sit in this, from all, all your council. We cannot find one who told you, yes, guy, maybe it's time for changes. Give us five minutes for every council meeting so we can talk about everything. We can talk about human rights. We can talk about housing. We can talk about judicial system. We cannot. For years, we cannot do this. It's a nightmare. And nobody stand up and talk to this about, no one counsel, talk, okay, give them five minutes. Five minutes is exactly what is we want. So we want five minutes to every council meeting. And one day per month, open door to everybody. So hundred people will come to, the, to, to her in talking and talking and talking. We need changes. You don't want changes. Why you need changes? Hundred thirty-five thousand dollars. You're very happy. Don Constantin, two hundred thousand dollars. You acting like U.S. senator and president of United States, but you are not senator and you are not United States president. You are ordinary people like everybody. We, we, we elect you only for one particular reason, so you represent everybody. We all represent all group of American people, and I talk about this many times. Thank you, so, Mr. President. So when you start make a small changes, exactly from two minutes to five minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you.